Hello everyone, welcome to Mo's Kitchen. Today we're going to make garlic aioli. This happens to be one of my favorite dips in the world. It's great with everything, and the chances are you have got everything to make it in your own home. This takes like five minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so it wouldn't be garlic aioli without garlic. Duh. So take, I'm only going to use one clove of garlic. You can use two or three, but for your first time, just use one, then you'll know how to adjust. Just chop the heck out of it. Chop it, put it on your knife, smash it down like that. Keep chopping and chopping, this will take a bit of time. So you've got kind of a puree. Now after you've chopped it up for a while, add a pinch of kosher salt or whatever salt you happen to have lying around. Go back to chopping and chopping and smashing and smashing. You really want it really finely smashed for this dish. Luckily for me, I've got a bunch of pureed garlic already in the fridge. So this is more or less just me showing you. Chop it, smash it, keep going for a while. Okay, so I'm going to add one egg yolk and my garlic I have in the fridge. This is not the same garlic I showed you, but uh, it'll do. Then just going to whisk it to bring it together. You know, so the egg is uh, whisked in good. There we go, that should do the job. Now here I've got about half a cup of olive oil and you're gonna pour it in very slowly. If you pour it in too quickly, everything will separate and that's it, this goes in the garbage. Basically we're making an emulsion here. It's the same as a salad dressing, only it doesn't really matter for salad dressing because you can just shake it before you use it. For this, you have to do it right. So I'm gonna show you everything in real time. Now I'm not gonna lie, I probably could have done this a little bit faster, but it doesn't matter that much. I'm not a professional, so I tend to go slowly and take my time. I don't need to rush like I'm in a restaurant. And that's how you should do it too. So go a little drip by drip by drip, and you're gonna see it thicken up right before you. It's actually getting a little thick right now. Now because this is raw egg, it'll keep for about a week in your refrigerator, and that's it. That's why you're only making a very tiny amount. This won't even last you a week. This will last you maybe a day or two. Trust me, it is that good. What's it good on? Everything. Get some vegetables, dip it in there, have a piece of bread, put it in a sandwich. Toss a bit of it in salad dressing, that's how it gets very garlicky. Uh, any grilled meat, any regular meat, corn, this is good on everything, even chips, it's a regular dip. And yes, I'm aware some of you are scared of raw eggs, don't worry. Eggs are a lot safer now than they used to be. There's a lot more standards, a lot more practice going on, and a lot more things are just better. Also, the whole thing about raw eggs making you sick really originated from a bunch of bad restaurants keeping their eggs out for such a long time that they would get rotten. Because during a breakfast rush, guys, they keep their eggs on the counter, but they tend to use them all up before they go bad. But some places would be a little bit slower, they wouldn't care, they'd leave them out for a while, and that's how you got sick. You can look this up if you want, you can ask your medical practitioner, you know, to be on the safe side. Or if you're really that worried, just use pasteurized eggs. But, um, I've eaten this a lot, I haven't got sick. You may not get sick either, it's up to you. I'll post more information on the blog. But as you can see, it's getting a lot thicker and it's changing into a different color. See that? Now you can add in a little bit more. Again, I probably should have went a bit faster, I'm not gonna lie, but it's no big deal. I'm just at home. Just take your time. Don't feel rushed. Really don't. Now, the first or second time you make this, you probably will pour it too fast and mess it up. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I've made that mistake myself sometimes. If you've got a squeeze bottle, you're better off putting the oil in there because you can kind of squeeze and control it a lot better. But I hate cleaning out squeeze bottles and it'd just be kind of annoying, so I'm just using a whisk and a bowl. Some people will use a blender, food processor, but I find that annoying. So now that we're done, season out salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice. These are, are going to be the taste, so add more or less depending on what you want. But I'll post all the ingredients on my website. Taste it with some bread. I thought it was perfect, and now I'm ready to plate up. So that's it, guys. Garlic aioli, best spread ever. Put it with meat, vegetables, pasta, anything. Just for some extra heat, I'm going to add some crushed chilies on top of it. Really, this is just a basic one. You can put paprika, any fresh herbs, whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Give it a try, guys. Use it for garlic bread. And visit my website, mos-kitchen.blogspot.ca, for all my recipes. Take care.